So I just got this delivery from uh, Cube Lelo. It's a GAN 356M speed cube. I used to uh, do speed cubing when I was in school, but uh, since then I have not practiced much and I thought I'd get back into it. Let's see what's in the box. So this is the GAN 356M, which is a budget speed cube. Uh, it's still quite expensive at 3K, but uh, it's not the top end. So the top end speed cubes are around 5K to 6K nowadays. But I thought uh, that wouldn't be that wouldn't make much sense for me. So we have uh, a cube care warranty, which uh, I'm assuming covers the lubrication as well in case something goes wrong along with a support number and in this box we have I think this is a stand some sort of stand to keep the cube on and now we have the box the box is uh, sealed quite tightly Try to get it open without damaging it too much. One thing about the GAN 356M is that all the customization is done by the company. So you don't have to do much of the lubrication and the magnet attachment. Uh, and nor do I want to because I'm not at the stage where uh, two or three seconds uh, shaved off the time will make a huge difference. So that's why I did not go for the models with the customizable magnets. So here we have the cube and we have uh, an accessory box. So let's see what's in the box. So we have the standard instruction set. Uh, this instruction set, uh, I don't know why they include this stuff anymore because anyone buying a speed cube should already know how to solve it. Uh, it's uh, the beginner's method with uh, C4. So we have this pouch. Uh, I'm assuming it's a carry pouch for the cube. Maybe if you are taking it to a competition or something, you can use this pouch. And we have these uh, magnets. These are spare magnets. Uh, sorry, not magnets, just screws. Uh, yeah. So these are screws of different tightness. Uh, if you want, you can replace the screws on the center pieces. But. Uh, I don't think that will be necessary for me. I'll just keep them as spares. Uh, what I want to do is, I, I don't want to mess with the internals of the cube too much. I don't want to be taking it apart and putting it back together because I will be mostly using it for blindfold solving. So here we have the cube. Uh, the first thing I notice is the cube is really smooth and in fact it's too smooth for my liking because uh, I'm overshooting so if I try to yeah so if I try to do a single move it's overshooting twice so I need to get used to that uh, but that's just because I've been using a budget cube for so long so I guess uh, once I get used to this uh, sort of uh, tension that should be fine let me try something now I am overshooting a bit as you can see, a uh, T permutation, but uh, that should get better. Yeah, with practice I should get smoother, I am just, I am not used to such a smooth cube. So I completely messed it up as you can see, uh, because I am overshooting, it's too smooth. Uh, the cube is really fast, 
uh, and the corner cutting is good so as you can see you get uh, okay it, it won't cut at 45 degrees but anything below 45 it should cut for you so these are the magnets uh, because this is a budget cube the magnets are uh, the magnets are fixed in place uh, you cannot customize it out but you can customize these screws on the cap so as you can see uh, we have these blue screws here but if you want to screws of different tightness you can use the screws that feel best for you 